Hey guys, so Carson Diecast was pretty awesome and sent me one of their production samples or deco sample or I don't know what it is, some kind of sample. It's a very short exclusive run that they did of an upcoming project that they're working on with Greenlight Collectibles, working with the new owner on this new mold. So this is kind of going to be an example of where Greenlight is headed. Um, so if you didn't know, Greenlight was bought out by a new owner back in December of 2022, I believe. And they have a vision of competing with Mini GT, or Mini GT. So they're trying to up the quality level. And this is one of the first samples or pieces that's coming out to kind of show off that competition. And I gotta say, it is freaking awesome. So, I look back, get Carson Diecast in the top. I love that it has a green light and Carson Diecast collaboration on the back. That's awesome. This is from CarsonDiecast.com. So if you go to their website, I'll put a link in the description. You can go and pre-order this piece. It's the Duramax Diesel. Got the copyright 2020-24. Oh yeah. So the actual production version will be one of 2,928. And then there will be 192 special edition Carson Blue Chase. I don't have the details on that, so I'm guessing we'll probably find out sooner than later. Um, they're supposed to be coming out in May, so within the next few weeks, I'm assuming, we'll find out. All right, so it's kind of hard to see the details through plastic, so let's crack this bad boy open and take an up close and personal look. Okay, so I had to destroy that packaging. That packaging's a lot tougher to get into um, than other packages. So Greenlight has been bragging about their new package and yeah, it's it's pretty strong. So um, I've been talking with the new owner and stuff at Greenlight and one of the things that he was talking about is how they're changing up the mirrors. So if you have any Greenlight die casts from ever, essentially like on all, any of these dualies rams stuff or other chevy trucks you'll notice that these mirrors break off pretty easily so and kind of copying what mini gt is doing they're now like made out rubber so as you can see i can flex this it's not snapping off it's staying put so if i was to accidentally drop it that mirror's not going anywhere um i have a lot of taco sample trucks from Greenlight, like I don't normally open like my chases and stuff, but I do have a lot of um, deco samples with the older style mirror, and it's pretty much every single one of them is missing at least one mirror, if not both mirrors. Like they just snap off so easy. So I'm so glad that Greenlight um, is going the way of Mini GT, and they've got it to where it's that rubber. So and look, see, we got this little step guards. We'll step on the side. And let's just take a look at the details. How close can I get with this camera? Let's see. Yeah. This is 4K, so if you can watch it on a large TV and you can really see these details up close and personal. Got that tiny little tampo the Duramax up there. And look at the headlights in the front and the grill. This is a big change. So, uh, let's see if I can get it without shaking. Disadvantage of shooting 164 scale. You can really see every movement you're doing. 118th is a lot easier to hide movement, but not 164. Um, man, look at the grill. And, like, it's actually like a part of the mold. Like, it's actually like different layers here. So instead, it probably would have been a tampo in this place, but no, this one, this actually got some texture to it. And look at the headlight. Oh, that's fantastic. I was pretty disappointed in the Dodge Ram mold, like one of the more recent ones, where if you look inside here, you can see the, the little hole where the headlight is attached to the actual diecast car. It's just 
unfortunate. But with this one, it you can't tell. It's really sharp. Man, it's awesome. So the hood does not open on this. So what the owner was telling me is that they've got the three different price levels. Um, so kind of like the MSRP on the new basic level is going to be the $799. And it's not going to have like any opening details. And then they've got two more price points above that. The next one's more premium model with like the opening hood stuff. And the really super detailed engine bays. I believe. And then there's the third level, which is the collector level, which is going to be like the new under the hood program for Greenlight. And it's going to be basically like competition against RLC. I mean, they've brought in Amy, who was a big part of the RLC with Hot Wheels stuff. So she's coming in and she's doing under the hood as Greenlight's version of the RLC. And it'll be higher price die cast only sold to collectors. So you're not going to find them at stores or hobby dealers anywhere. It'll be only sold through under the hood program and it'll be a lot higher quality die cast. So higher quality than Mini GT, maybe? We shall see. Um, it's interesting that the wheels don't have GMC on here. The caps aren't silver. But I mean, again, this is, just, even though they, I think they made 200 of this one, it's still considered a sample. Um, so maybe the next one, or the actual production will have GMC on there. That'd be pretty cool. That's another thing that I was told by the owner is that they're doing away with like just generic wheels where every single <laughs> release can use basically the same wheels. They're going to make it to where the wheels are specific to that casting. So in this case, as you can see, these are GMC Denali HD wheels. Like these are very specific to this truck. You're not going to see these on a uh, Chevrolet or a Ford or something. It's not going to be a generic release anymore. Like this is specific to this truck you're not going to see them chop up anywhere else and the size the scale is proper what's he got he's got go blue for the license plate <laughs> awesome look at that even a little tampo and stuff where the handle is that is proper the bed's got some pretty good depth to it so is it? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually like a proper bed and the indentations actually are, or the arches are actually for the wheels. That, that's next level. That is fantastic, man. I want to see if they make a premium version of this one where the tailgate flips down and stuff. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Can't really see the inside too well. And unfortunately, this sample has some fingerprint residue and oil in the windows, so you can't see that well. But from what I can see, it's pretty sharp. I like it. Take a look at the base. And it's metal, looks like. I'm assuming that's metal. So no cheap plastic here like green light mold 2023 like this is a brand new one look at the tire patterns too like they're even specific on the tire patterns that god that spot for the hitch well i am i am thoroughly impressed like i saw <laughs> this one i sent the, or carson sent it to me um it just even like that i was my first like the first word out of my mouth was wow like this is game changing like green light is gonna like they're really trying to change up their game like no more messing around we're here to compete so i'm really excited with what's happening with green light um a lot of changes are happening hopefully all of them are for the better but based on what i'm seeing here this is fan freaking tastic like this is awesome. Like this is getting close. I mean, actually this is pretty on par with mini GT level quality at this point. So, but it's a lot cheaper. If you can find a mini GT for under 12 bucks, let me know uh, or something like, I'd like to buy, like, I guess with that's MJ toys with the clamshell stuff. If you get them from like surplus goodies or something, you can get it for cheaper, but ah, that's awesome. 
Thank you, Carson Diecast. And once again, I apologize for getting this video up so late. Uh, kept forgetting about it. And I still don't have a studio set up in my basement yet. Like I'm hoping for, I, I moved and I'm just not ready for videos just yet. So using some of my free time at work, or well, I should say unpaid time at work, use my office to do this video. So thank you, Carson, so much. I look forward to buying these when they are officially released. Once again, I'm gonna put a link to that all right, so let's see. Yeah, the pre-order on the website. I believe there's a pre-order up. Either way, I'll link you to Carson Diecast so you can buy these. Looking forward to it. Uh, the bed's separate too. That's new. And just keep finding like new details the longer I look at this. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. This is a long video. I hate doing long videos because I don't have a long patience. It's our attention span. <laughs> and... I don't, I don't like watching long videos, so that's it for me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of this video. You can subscribe by clicking on the Vipers in the bottom right corner. See my most current video in the top right corner. The two videos on the left are based on your interest in this video. And make sure to leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe for more content. And as always, happy hunting.